Some of these women, they're, they're yearning for the ring, the ring, the ring. Ha, ah, will you marry me? Okay. And then they're all over the place. Ah, 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 ah. Some of these women are doing this or have been doing this for 10 years. But all I'm trying to say is the ring itself might not do anything. They might slap on a ring and still bounce and be in Texas half the time and then be with you half the time. Because he's figuring himself out, figuring us out, keeping his options open. Quaylong and Chevelle. It's been two weeks since Quaylon left and went to go see his family in Texas. This is a... <laughs> this is... Like, just last week, she was like, It's been one week since Quaylon left and went to see his family in Texas. And that's two weeks. I wonder if she's just gonna keep going till he comes back. Like, what? I'm ready for marriage. Listen, first of all, I, I apologize for... Look how scared he's looking at the mom, like... Oh gosh, I'm talking to Chevelle. I'm about to apologize. I know she doesn't even like Chevelle. She's telling me to keep my options open. And then she's like, I'm, I apologize for. <laughs> Not telling you I was it. The mom's sighing, like, anyway. I yeah, said, did that was wrong. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Like, I was still in the wrong because I lied. But then we got to get an understanding on this smothering slash detective she on because it's a problem for me. Good. He's good with his emotions, I guess, because he wants to talk it out. So that's good. That's my good. wife was put on hold for two and a half years. And my daughter calls you daddy. The only thing I'm looking for is commitment. And now that you're out, I feel like I'm ready. Now you say you're ready, but I'm not ready. But she was ready in jail, though. That's why I keep saying talk is cheap. Talk is very, 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 very cheap. In prison, you can sing or speak all these sweet nothings into existence into the air. But it doesn't mean it's gonna, it's gonna happen, you know. Uh, and that's what these people are not realizing is that after the person comes back, you think you've been in a relationship for two and a half years, but he's just starting with you. He's just starting a clean slate because it's all it was all dreams and whatever and even even the fact that you could visualize how things would go so this would be the bed this would be the bedroom this would be the kitchen where we'll be in this is where we'll do this this is where we'll go for our walks in the park he couldn't do that he's sitting in a jail cell he's sitting in prison just imagining things like how the life with you would be so for him it's not reality whereas you can kind of visualize everything right so he needs to come out into the real world be like oh 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 and then find himself in that because for 12 good years he's never been out there so it's a whole different life for him and you gotta take it like it's a day one once you meet each other outside the prison walls you have to treat it like it's day one because to him it probably feels like that i'm not ready to propose to chevelle but i'm also not ready to lose her because i won't propose to chevelle so I'm either going to marry this girl or not, and I'm going to have to make the decision. Run to Paris with my I'm going to be out there. Nah, I think it's best that we try to figure out what's going on with us right now. Hmm, I'm right. <laughs> That's the look of a defeated man. Hmm, all right. He was trying to holler at uh, Maela, who was in the car while she was running errands. And she's like, nah, we need to figure us out. Like how he said at the zoo, we need to figure out us out first yeah she threw it right back at him ah it's good to see somebody have a backbone in this thing maybe sean should learn a thing or two from chevelle but anywho well, I you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. i'll talk to him more when he was in jail versus now and ask her friend about it mm, what did he say uh, that ain't nothing. She just a, 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 a friend or whatever it is not that deep so imagine that fake hired friend causing trouble between these people's relationship. That friend wasn't real. That whole storyline was whack, whack as anything. This random friend came out of nowhere trying to seduce this guy or trying to flirt. Ah, please, come on now. <laughs> no. I don't want you thinking that it is. I'm come on like, now, like she's just a friend. My thing is, how did you meet her? Right. Like, one of his sisters hooked him up. She's not a friend, she's an extra. They hired her. <laughs> This is this is my thinking, you guys. Mm -mm. I'm sure. You know. Oh my God. Woo. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Be the same man out of jail and let me know what's up. 
why even wait on that? But this is the thing. If you've waited two and a half years and you think it's too much and you're wasting your youth, because I think now she's like 30 or whatever, hey, you have to know what, what you want as well. For how long are you going to wait for him to say, mm, actually, no, I'm not feeling you like that, like that, like that. Like, are you going to literally leave him to really explore the world and see what other chicks are out there? Because that's what he probably would want to do if he had a choice. And maybe it wouldn't be too crazy if that's what he wanted to do. But you gotta, one thing you can say about these people that find these inmates is that they are loyal. If you can stick with somebody through a whole prison sentence, this is something that some people that are out here in the real world are sometimes scared about. Would you stay with me if I got locked up? Would you stay with me if this? Would you stay with me if I have a, had a record? These people have already seen the worst of you. This is a, as horrible and as bad as it can get. This is as bad as it gets and these people are still with you. That means they are probably a keeper, could be a keeper. At least they're loyal. That's one thing you're not gonna find, you know, then these people are bringing their friend to come and flirt with him. She has not gone through the struggle. She has not gone through two and a half years of waiting for you. She has not gone through any of that. She's coming to see a, a whole fully, yeah, a, the whole total package already. That somebody else had to, you know, be with him, talk to him, counsel him with all in all those emotional distress periods and all these things, right? Whilst he was in prison, you just get the total package. So that person is not gonna have the connection that you have with this person that has stuck with you for two and a half years. It's a long time. Hey, he owes me answer because guess what? My daughter is involved in this. I don't let have a good feeling about Quaylen and Chevelle's relationship. I think that it's funny. The kid is just sitting like in a room, but the doors are open because Chevelle was like, uh, you go and draw something for mommy. And they're talking about all this stuff and the kid is just there. These are some of the things that like, and especially a kid like Maela, like she's very funny. She's the one who told Quaylon, you shouldn't smell like that. You should take a shower if you smell like that. That was like a lot of episodes ago. Yeah, I can imagine her overhearing what these two are talking about and then going to tell Quaylon the stuff that they talked about. Yeah. It's interesting because where and how do you have these conversations? But if I were her, I would just be playing with the kid because it's sad for the kid to call him daddy and this and that. And he's not even sure about anything. Mm. Dang, he's not being committed. Now I'm here now. What's he got to say now? See him. Boop. There comes Quaylon. He's back in Kansas City. Hmm. I don't even know I'm here. I'm... She doesn't even know I'm here. Here. Her. Here. Hmm. Okay. I don't even see the look on Chevelle's face when she's seen me. It's just that I've been missing her since I've been gone. But if I have doubt and I'm not 100% sure, I'm not just going to settle for that. Because it's about me too, not just her. Uh -huh. She has all... Well, yeah, but don't string people along. It's about me too, not just her. Okay, but don't string people along, for real, for real. Uh, the qualities of a wife. So he talks about how she's caring and she's loving and she's loyal and she's beautiful and she's and she has all the qualities of a wife. But where does the but come in in this case? Do people not just want to settle? For as many people that are out there like single, can't even find a normal person, even if they tried, and people that just have them and then want to keep their options open, that whole thing, like, make up your mind, dude. You spent 12 years at the same time, like, Okay, now you're out. Don't you want to get married as well? Like, I'm just wondering, like, what is the wait? See, this is not in Koro times, right? In Koro times, everybody's just grabbing who they can and be like, yep, I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take it. It's fine. But I think in these times, like, he was free to, like, explore what he wanted to explore. So he's like, ooh, I can't see what else is out there. But time waits for no man. <laughs> but at the same time, I don't know if I'm ready right now. No, but I want Chevelle to know that I love her, man, and I feel like she thinks that I don't because I haven't gave her a ring yet. The ring is also ridiculous. Some of these women, they're, they're yearning for the ring, the ring, the ring. Ha, huh, will you marry me? Okay. And then they're all over the place. Ah, 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 ah. Some of these women are doing this, or have been doing this for 10 years, two years, three years, five years. At that point, it's just a ring. It's just a gift. It's not a commitment. Like, what? what is that? Please make up your mind. 
let's get things in motion obviously it's also the woman's side so she should also be like yo hey when are we gonna plan this thing like immediately you put that thing on you should be ready to plan within a year the tan 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 should start to happen because yeah i don't know i don't get it when people wait that long but all i'm trying to say is the ring itself might not do anything he might slap on a ring and still bounce and be in texas half the time and then be with you half the time because he's figuring himself out figuring us out keeping his options open all the rest of it right the ring doesn't mean anything that's the bottom line especially if the person is not committed hello it's me Hey, before this, Maela was like, you're my daddy, you're my mom. Like, she, she switched it around. I don't know. I don't know why. But, but anyway, she, she literally says that. And then the mom adds some on top. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go to the park so we can let your mom and your dad catch up. Then there's a random person standing there who I don't know who that is. But uh, why is she also calling this guy her dad why are they doing this they're the ones doing this that's what's causing all the confusion because if that's your dad just like bobby from school has a dad who's always around and they kick it and they do things they play and whatever in that same way she's expecting her dad to also stay around but this guy is not her dad so why are you letting her think that that's a dad at least if they're huh, really in a serious relationship you know she's gonna stay there they're married then you can say okay now the dad thing can come in because he is caring he wants to be in her life yada 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 okay which is impressive for somebody who's been in jail for 12 years has come out and now has you know big responsibilities like this but yeah why are they doing this to this kid they are the ones doing that oh look at chevelle looking all kinds of pretty girl yeah you know, hey, right. I feel like I put my life on hold for two and a half years. So it's like, I thought that when he came home, I thought I was going to get my ring. The ring don't mean nothing. The ring don't mean nothing. Again, my audio is doing some whack, whack stuff. But anywho, it comes down to, ah, I'm still be here. I love you. Uh, give me a hug. Ah, anyway, I've uh, rambled long enough about this couple. If you're already, uh, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit thumbs up. As long as you subscribe button, comment because I comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the <coughs> notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm.